All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the O53 notes on graphing quadratic inequalities. Your objective, you'll be able to graph a quadratic inequality. That is your goal for today. Now, in the past, we already graphed quadratic equations, so the majority of the problems that we're going to be doing is involving that. Now it just involves a little bit more shading. So, what do I mean by that? We could shade a quadratic inequality in a couple different ways. We could shade above and inside the U. We could shade above the U, but outside the U. That's how the problem that is. So, when will we shade inside this parabola and above? Well, anytime there's a y is greater than x squared, or y is greater than a number x squared, or y is greater than or equal to a number x squared, or y is greater than or equal to x squared, we're going to shade inside this parabola and above. That's any time y is greater than x squared, or y is greater than or equal to x squared, or y is greater than, let's say, 2x squared, or 5x squared, or 20x squared, plus 6x minus 2. As long as y is greater than or greater than or equal to x squared in the problem, we're going to be shading above and inside that parabola. Now, over here, on this side, y is greater than negative x squared, or y is greater than negative 6x squared, or y is greater than negative 6x squared plus 4x minus 8, or y is greater than negative 2x squared plus 7x plus 8. Well, what's going to happen there is that our parabola is going to go upside down. It's going to be the arrows are going down, but we're going to shade above. We're going to shade above the parabola and outside of it, just like what we see here. So it's going to be above this parabola and it's on the outside. So y is greater than negative 2x squared or y is greater than negative 6x squared. Or if there's multiple terms after that, all that matters is y is greater than a negative x squared. Well, the parabola flips and we're going to shade down above and outside the parabola. y is greater than or equal to negative x squared, it's still going to be above. So it depends on what the inequality is telling us. So when it's greater than, you're going to be shading above. And y is greater than the x squared, it's above. Determine if it's inside or not. Well, y is greater than positive x squared plus whatever. It's going to be on the inside of the parabola. When it's y is greater than negative x squared, it's going to be outside the parabola, but it's still going to be above. So you shade all above here. we will see more with the examples that we're going to be doing in class. The other two scenarios. When we have y is less than x squared, or y is less than 3x squared, or y is less than 6x squared plus 2x minus 3, whatever the equation is, but as long as it's y is less than a number x squared, it's going to be shading below the parabola like what we see over here on the left hand side. If it's y is less than or equal to x squared, like y is less than or equal to 6x squared or 7x squared plus 2x minus 3, we're shading below what we have here on the left. Now, on the right hand side we have y is less than negative x squared or y is less than or equal to negative x squared. So anytime we have something like this, y is less than negative 6x squared, or y is less than negative 10x squared plus 2x plus 8, or y is less than negative 9x squared plus 7x minus 2. As long as y is less than negative x squared, the parabola is going to go down, and then we're going to shade on the inside of the parabola. And when it's a less than, that means it's a dashed line. If it's less than or equal to, it, this is going to be a solid line. But why is less than or less than or equal to? You shade below the parabola, and you're going to shade on the inside of that parabola. So it depends on what the inequality is telling us. It's a less than. When it's less than, you shade below. 
All right, let's do a couple examples here. So now, we know what the parabola is going to look like. It's going to have a little bit of a U shape. You could use your graphing calculator to graph these quadratic inequalities. Or you could use the Desmos app that I showed you guys, that you, the free Desmos app that you can download on your uh, smartphone. So there's poss several different possible ways you could do it. Now just to recap, what we do, we hit the graphing calculator on with the hit and the on button. Once the graphing calculator is on, we're going to clear the calculator back to its original settings. So we're going to hit second, plus sign, seven, one, two, enter. And this is going to clear the RAM of your calculator. Then hit second mode to quit to get back to your regular screen. Now to graph this quadratic equation, what we're going to do, we're going to hit the second button located in the top left hand corner. And that first little y equals spot, I want you to type in the number 2, x squared plus 8x plus 7, then enter. Then hit your graph button, you can see what the graph is going to look like. Then you can hit second graph button, you get a table. You can plot those coordinates like we did in the past to find out exactly what coordinates that we need to plot. Once you plot your coordinates, like we did here, we then connect them, as you could see. The next part now is the shading. This is the new part. We have y is less than or equal to. Anytime it's less than or equal to, you're going to shade underneath the parabola. So, since it's y is less than or equal to, y is less than or equal to 2x squared we're going to shade below this parabola so below this point here is right here below this point you shade below here below this point you shade below here below this point you shade here and below this point you shade here that could tell you the direction if you have some trouble finding out which direction to shade. Once you get all your shading then, let's see if I could do this a little quicker. 